APC members protest in Abuja, ask Amechi, Malami, and Amy Fili to resign immediately. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Dozens of members of the All Progressive Congress APC stormed the party's national secretariat in Abuja on Wednesday, April 20th, 2022, to demand the immediate resignation of political appointees who are interested in running for elective seats in the 2023 general election. The protesters asked the Minister for Justice Abubakar Malami, his transportation counterpart Roti Miyamichi, and the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Emir Fili Godwin, to resign from their positions and focus on the ambitions. The protesters under the umbrella of the APC Youth Development and Solidarity Forum stated that the Section 8412 of the Tura Act Bill mandate political appointees to resign from the position before contesting in party primaries. The group added that the section of a law that was recently signed by President Muhammad Buhari is very clear and should be fought immediately. They urged President Muhammad Buhari to force his appointees who were interested in elective seats to resign as soon as possible. Amichi Adela revealed his intention to run for President of Nigeria on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC and he has refused to resign from his position as Transportation Minister. Malami has not made his decision known to the public, but it was rumored that the minister will contest for KB State governorship seat in 2023. The campaign posters of Emir Fili for the presidency are circulating across the country, but the CBN governor has not declared his intention to run for any political seat. What is your opinion on this? Do you think the political appointees shall resign? Well, according to our constitution that was recently amended me too i've I've, I've almost forgotten sincerely these people they swung into action like they're right on time yes they're right on time these people the this particular law was recent as in it was recently signed into law this bill was signed into law recently and of course they should obey the constitution right I mean, you better stay in your office or you lose both seats and send money to, and send message to others or the rest of you. 100 million will be small money in addition to your loss. <laughs> okay. Please advise the number to withdraw to Nigerian is a dynamic entrepreneur and tough on correction, man. <laughs> they are going to come for you, sir. They will come for you. Well, to me... According to the constitution, since this politician, they like doing things and they keep rubbing it in your faces according to the constitution. According to your constitution, they should respect whatever they signed. So, it's over to them. What this youth did was just to remind them that remember that you people signed a bill into law that political appointees should first resign if they are going to, if they are going to sign... I mean, if they're going to, what's it called, Con come out for any elective position. They're the one that signed this thing recently. And you know, the thing, that particular bill, everybody was actually somewhat in support of it, somewhat against it. But to me, they've already signed it into law, so they should stand by it. Okay. Leave them all. It's their money in Nigeria. Only the poor suffer, but the rich get richer. Well, like I have said, they should do as they have been requested to do. Fully, there is no need to protest. The stamp shall tell and the judiciary is there. Hmm. Nigeria think if Asorok is not behind this guy, they would have resigned. This rumor to me is gradually becoming a reality. We are watching the Northern politics. <laughs> what of Mr. Good in everything sent to Dr. Chris in Gige? <laughs> uh, that one... That one, sincerely, God just wants to disgrace that one. Some, someone that could not solve the problem of an organization is coming to lead Nigeria. What good has, has he done as a minister? Same as others. What good has Amichi? 
what's good as a Michi Dom? Yes, if we want to say that, we're going to ask. Is a Michi not supposed to be as in hiding his face in shame because this recent kidnap is connected to his ministry? If it is somebody, if he is somebody who is really is sensitive to the masses or to people or to anything at all, he will not come out. He will be treading with caution because for all I can remember or all I care for, people are actually under him. People are actually under him that, you know, his ministry eyes on him. Yes, his ministry is not the real way they kidnapped people and those people have not been released and you are coming out to declare for, come on now. He's been so insensitive. Okay. If you eventually any of these wins, the runner will take it from court. Court? There is a nation in irrespective of many constitution will still afford PMB to fill the Nathanas in the vacant position. Whatever. Whatever. If you appoint them now, they are going to leave after the turn, right? Then appointment now will leave after the turn because if they appoint them and whoever that will be the president of Nigeria comes in and do not find them worthy of that position, they are going to go. It is in the interest of APC that these non-elected political officers resign now or the party disabled by law to compete in elections. To compete in elections when the chips are down, the question is whether the VP post is considered as not elected under the electoral law. So the VP slot is actually elected. Yes, it's elected. You are elected automatically as a VP once uh, somebody picks you as a running mate. You know, when the president, you know, it's just a selective. You don't think it is. What is the problem? If you don't resign a contract, they should bear the consequences. By the way, the court has held that the section in question is unconstitutional. Incidentally, the law did not specify the time they must resign, so they can resign one hour before the primaries, even if the law holds. You see our problem. You see that we have a problem in this country. <laughs> okay. So people, the same people you are chanting, you mess with the wrong generation, the fools who are campaigning for the youth cargos. Useless country and useless youth who do not know the excess problem. Look, you see on this matter, if I open this particular comment, we are not going to live here. So let's move on. Well, as like I've said earlier, in my own opinion, that part is in the constitution, except they are telling me that it does not matter. In my opinion, the sanity to build the show as well uphold it. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.